All right, so the newest version of Wondershare Filmora 14 just dropped. This is version 14.2.4. This is their major December feature release. Let's get into all of the things that they have updated. As with the major release for version 14, the main point has been all of the added smart AI features, from voice enhancer to sound effects to mosaics for video, advanced compression, all of these updated performance and AI tools. Staying in line in that is their update to image to video feature, where you add in a stock image and it will use AI to try and make it into a video clip. It'll give you several different options and some different things to choose from and customize, and it's just a really unique feature to see. Next up, they've also done something similar with audio to video. So if you have some recording from an event or a podcast, all of these different things, it will now try to create a video from that audio clip. This feature is still in beta, so your results may vary, but it is very exciting to see them putting all of this effort and focus into these new features. They've also updated their smart clips section where you can find new things for short clips, for scene cuts, and for their short video creator, where you can get templates and some pre-generated options from your own content. They've also updated their background music generator so that it can better match your content that's already in place. Following up on that, they've also updated their auto reframe tool where you'll go in, select your subject and your aspect ratio, and it will try and map that screen to your selected subject. They've also made major feature updates to Filmora Copilot, which is their built-in AI assistant, their multi-camera editing tool made specifically for podcasting and interview style videos, and they really fine-tuned their AI translation features. Now, while some of their features are directly built into the software, many often run off of their credit system, which can be located in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. There's a set amount of credits that you get every month, or you can manually top them up. It's just so exciting to see all of these different features that have been brought into Filmora. I highly recommend you check out their software and see what they can do. They have just enough features to hit every marker that you have, but not too many that it all gets lost in the details like some of the more advanced editors. But I think that Wondershare Filmora is introducing their new AI features in one of the best ways that I've seen, slowly releasing each tool until they get it dialed in and it is working really well. One of my favorite AI features that they've released is their AI silence detection editing tool, where you'll find a clip, you'll right click, go to smart edit and silence detection. Within this tool, you will set your minimum duration, your softening buffer, and your volume threshold. You'll click Analyze, and it will process your audio, looking for all of the gaps where there is no audio. And you can zoom in and make adjustments based on what your specific needs are, but then you simply click Finish and Replace, and it will change your entire timeline and make those cuts for you. Let me know if you have any questions about Filmora 14, and what's your preferred video editor?